Australia's latest debutante, Xavier Doherty, has been good enough to join us on CATV. Firstly, mate, it's a long way from Tasmania to the MCG to represent Australia. Congratulations. Thanks very much. Yeah, it was an exciting night. Um, unfortunately, it didn't go the way we planned, but um, yeah, it was really exciting. So, Personally, a great performance. Got the run out early, which would have calmed the nerves a little bit, and then a wicket with the first couple of balls. Four wickets on debut. It doesn't get much better than that. Yeah, I probably couldn't have asked for a better start, I guess, to get my hands on the ball early. Uh, unfortunately, the second one went straight through me, but uh, uh, lucky to get the run out straight away. and. Yeah, to get that wicket in the first over, I guess, was, I was really hoping that it happened and uh, fortunately it turned out well and that really calmed the nerves, yeah. You've been plying your trade for quite some time for Tasmania now and very consistent at the first class level. Great to get the opportunity and obviously with the World Cup next year, exciting times ahead. Oh, I hope, I hope so. So it, it, I guess it got a little bit frustrating sort of not knowing if this chance had come, but um, you know, it's probably come at a perfect time. I've been bowling really well for Tassie and uh, if it had come any earlier, I probably, probably wouldn't have been right. So um, I'm pretty happy it came now, and uh, who knows what might happen after, after this series. But hopefully a couple, of, a couple more games this week would be nice. The domestic competition, obviously very, very strong. You get to bowl at very good batsmen in Australia. And now you're bowling some of the world's best as well. Intimidating in the middle of the MCG against the Sri Lankans? Oh, yeah, I guess it was, it was nice to bowl at Hodgie last week and a bit of a dress uh, rehearsal, I guess. So, um, you know, he's in amazing form. But uh, coming up last night against a, a full-strength Sri Lanka, uh, obviously got some big guns there. But, yeah, it was nice to get a couple of wickets against them early and really boost the confidence. So um, they've seen me now. So hopefully I can uh, back it up and, and really perform after that initial one. It's all about opportunity. I mean, on the day that you got announced in the Australian squad, you go out and take five wickets against the Bush Rangers. So it really is just about doing what you do well and doing it often enough. Yeah, it was quite weird that. I, hadn't, uh, I haven't taken a five for in seven years. And the, and the year after, uh, the night after I get a, uh, a phone call from the selectors, I'll, I'll go out and do that. So I guess, I guess it's, it's funny what confidence can do to you, I guess. Um, yeah, it was great to get that call and, and it sort of boost my confidence on the MCG, which is where I played last night. So getting it on that ground was, it was going pretty handy. Who was the first person you called or first person you told when you got picked? Uh, I rang my wife straight away. She's, uh, she was more nervous than I was last night, so uh, I think she deserves. She's been through all the ups and downs with me, so I guess she deserved to be uh, the first one on the, on the phone. Spinners, it's a, it's a different sort of breed. Have you always wanted to be a spinner? Did you always bowl spin when you were younger? No, I was a, I was a fast bowler growing up. Troy Cooley was actually a fast bowling coach for me back in when I was 15 and 16, but um, my back sort of gave way back then, and uh, I guess a lack of wickets, to be honest, um, sort of drove me towards being a, a spin bowler. And yeah, I, I guess it came quite naturally to me and, and worked my way through the ranks in Tassie and, and played as a youngster uh, for Tassie when I was about 18 or 19. So um, it's been a long road since then. It's been sort of 10 years of first class cricket of sort of highs and lows. So um, it's nice to get this chance now. It doesn't always bode well though. If Troy Cooley, who's the national bowling coach, was your bowling coach when you're bowling fast. Yeah, well, that's right. I don't, I don't know. I was one of the truck's uh, drop, dropouts, I guess. So, um, you know, he, he did my best, uh, his best with me, but uh, just didn't have the knack. Who has had the biggest influence on your career now that you're representing Australia and doing so well for Tassie? Oh, I guess probably growing up, was, my old man was fantastic to get me into the game. He, he still loves the game and does a lot of coaching now. Uh, and then Tim Coyle, the, the Tasmanian coach as well. He, he was one of my coaches when I was 15 and sort of sort of nursed me through those younger ranks and now is the head coach of Tassie. He's been fantastic for, for guys like myself and Hilfi and Paney and George Bailey and those sort of guys. He, he sort of uh, nurtured us into this first class arena and um, a few of us onto higher honours and I'm sure there'll be more. Tasmania have been very successful domestically and now producing the amount of national players that we always knew they could. It, looking forward, selection issues aside of course, what, what are your goals for 2010-11 and of course next year and beyond? Oh well I guess um, I don't want to look too far ahead really, I, you know it's this week I'm, I'm really concentrating on and I guess with the World Cup there it's you don't really want to focus on it but it, it's hard not to, hopefully you know that's in, I'm in the selectors minds for that. Um, but, you know, after this week, it's about getting back to Tassie and, and really uh, grinding out some wickets and, and um, putting my name up there and keeping it up there for, for quite some time, hopefully. So the result last night aside, you've enjoyed your time in and around the Australian side? Yeah, it's been a buzz. Uh, the boys have just really embraced me and, and accepted me really, really well. I was so nervous going into it and uh, meeting the boys at Brecky the other day. But, you know, after 10 minutes hanging around them, they, you know, you can't help be up be, and, and around it. So um, they've been fantastic. Congratulations on a fantastic debut and may there be many more wickets for Australia in the future. Thanks very much. Cheers.